What's going on, guys? Nick Baldwin, regional tech trainer for Michigan, Northern Ohio here. And can you believe it is almost Christmas? Almost Christmas and almost Hanukkah and almost 2021. I can't believe it. This year either like took forever to get through or was super quick. It just depends, you know, how you look at it, but I can't believe we're almost here at the holidays. So what I want to talk about today for you guys for a few minutes is how to create a smart plan for your sphere of influence through the holidays so you can keep in touch over the important dates uh, in an automated and systematic way. And now we can incorporate um, cura uh, customized emails um, into smart plans. We couldn't do that before. So we're very excited to be able to have that opportunity. And it's going to be uh, really great when you can customize, um, customize the plan a lot better than before. So let me jump right in and we're going to get started. All right, guys, here we are. I am in designs. That's where you want to go first. And I'm going to create an email from scratch using an awesome holiday template. So click email and then next. And here we are. We've got all the different new awesome templates from Keller Williams. But the ones we want to focus on are, are um, happy holidays. Let's do happy holidays. We'll click next. And what KW does, which is really awesome, it gives you a picture. It kind of starts you off. Right. So if you want to use that one, you can. It gives you some verbiage here and you can obviously edit all of those things and everything down here will get auto populated with uh, all of your contact information. So up here, we want to throw in a logo. So we're going to do that. We'll replace it. And I've got an image here that I'm going to use. Great. I've chosen my KW image. Click done. Perfect. I do want to replace this, though. So I'm going to click the image and click the pencil button, replace. And I created a really nice image in designs. Let me get down to the bottom here. Here it is. Uh, I made one for Hanukkah. Those are my people, you know? So I'm gonna celebrate Hanukkah with them. Let's click it, replace, and click done. Now this is a little squished, so I'm gonna wanna fix that, make it a little taller. We'll go back into edit, and I need to make it a little taller, so I'm just going to make that 446 for height. Click done. Perfect. Look at that. Super simple. I'm going to keep the verbiage the same, but all you guys need to do is click it and then edit, and then you can just change um, any of the words, delete it completely, but I'm going to change it here um, just to make things simpler for you, okay? And you can see, like, the merge fields will enter the first name of the contact. It will put your first name down here. Then down here, all these things you don't have to worry about. It will populate everything for you. The only thing that you want to do is if you want to throw in a button to download your app, you're going to want to edit that, and you're going to want to uh, send it to a web address. And you do have to put your, uh, your app domain in there. So let's just jump in and get your app domain. I'll show you where that is. So we're going to go into command. We're going to go to consumer, then we're going to go to site and app settings, then we're going to go to URLs, and then right here, app URL copy, jump back over to my email, and paste. And that's pretty much all you need to do. And we'll click done. Perfect. All right. All of this stuff, again, like I told you, will get auto-populated for you. You don't have to worry about it. If you want to throw in a video, you can do that. Like if you and your team have a happy holidays video, just grab the video widget and bring it over. See the, the green line is where it's going to go. So we're going to want to put that kind of right around here. And then we're going to want to edit this because we're going to want to put a photo for, um, for the thumbnail. So edit and then replace. And then just find, you know, any photo. Like if I was going to do the Happy Hanukkah, I could replace it, click done. Oh, I need the video URL. So grab the video URL you're going to use from either YouTube, BombBomb, Vimeo, wherever you have a video linked, click done. And then you can see now it's a thumbnail, right? 
Um, I'm going to delete that because I'm not going to use a video for this, but that's how you would do it um, if you were going to. So let's make sure we give this a name. So happy Hanukkah. Perfect. And oops, spelled happy wrong. <laughs> there we go. I can't type and talk at the same time. We're going to save and exit. Now we want to go to smart plans, guys. All right, now we're going to go to smart plans. We're going to create. We're going to call it Sphere Happy Holidays and apply. All right, so we're going to start with that email we made. So click send email. And then before it was very simple. It was just, you know, it was just text. You don't need to do that anymore. If you want, you can. But if you want something fancier like we were just doing, you can choose from designs. But let's give it a subject. Happy Hanukkah. Select my design. And then the library opens. Select my design templates. And here's my Happy Hanukkah um, email I just created. We're going to click it. Then it's going to bring me to the email just to make sure it looks like I want it to look. We can see it on a tablet. We can see it on a, a phone. This will this will be mobile optimized. Don't worry about that. Um, also, we can see, we can preview how it's going to look when it's sent out. See, so it does mobile optimize. Looks really nice. You can see everything, all of your information is added at the bottom. So you don't have to worry about any of that. All right, so let's get out of preview mode and we want this. We want to save and exit. Perfect. There it is. So when it gets sent out, it's going to show up like an email. It's not going to show up like this. It will be a regular email. So we want to save it. Then we want to set a delay, right? So let's just cover all of our bases. Let's do a happy Hanukkah and let's do a Merry Christmas. So Hanukkah starts in two days uh, and Christmas is oh you know what i'm gonna look at my calendar real quick just to make sure i know exactly how many days from christmas okay so hanukkah sundown tomorrow so let's do the 10th for the first sign of hanukkah and then 14 days until christmas eve so i want to set a delay for actually 13 days because i want on the 14th day to send out a text Merry Christmas and put the team you put the you know the client name and you can type whatever you want you know um, but in this instance I would be a little bit more uh, socially aware of what was going on this year like you know it's been a difficult year for many I'm not sure if you're around family this time but thinking of you um, and something along those lines, something that is socially aware and, and kind and, and sympathetic um, would be a nice touch. So we're going to save that text. And then from Christmas Eve to New Year's Day, let's set a delay. Okay. And I believe that's seven or eight days. Yep. It's seven, eight days. New Year's Day is eight days. So we're going to do a seven day delay for this because on the eighth day, we're either going to, we're going to make a call. I'm just showing you all the different options. Okay. So call and then contact first name, contact last name to say, Happy New Year. And the description can say the same thing. Like unless there's something like more descriptive, like call to say Happy New Year and to make sure, you know, they got the Christmas gift I sent. Something, you know, if there's anything specific that you need to bring up. Okay. So there we go. Let's save it. Save it. Save. I just want to save everything again just to make sure. Just I'm so like you know, specific about saving. Got your title. Now we're going to save here. Then now I want to go to my contacts. Okay. And now I'm going to send it to important people in my life, right? Important clients, family, friends, and I'm going to use the tag for A plus clients. I'll send it to those people and I pull them all up. Let's say there's 45 of them, select them all. And then I'm going to go to bulk action and I'm going to go to add to smart plan. 
And here it is, Sphere Happy Holidays, okay? So again, the first step is the email I made. Then it's going to delay 13 days. Then on the 14th day, it's going to send the Merry Christmas email or text. Then it's going to delay seven days. And on the eighth day, it's going to remind you to call them, okay? So let's select this. Now, I want this to start on Hanukkah. I don't want it to start right now. I want to start on Hanukkah. Or if it's Christmas, start it on Christmas. So you got to click start on a following date and then click the calendar. And I don't want it to start today uh, or tomorrow. I want it to go out on Thursday. That way, uh, exactly 14 days later on the 24th, they'll get that um, they'll get that Merry Christmas text. And then uh, eight days later on the 1st, I'll get reminded to wish them a Happy New Year. So I hope that makes sense. So that's where we're going to start it. On the 10th, they're going to get that email. And then every other touch will go out when it's supposed to. So confirm. And when I click confirm, everybody will be set up on that email, text, and phone call. And they'll get those touches when I have uh, specified them to be received. Uh, so guys, that is exactly how you're going to create a holiday sphere of influence, past clients, holiday smart plan. And, you know, you can go bigger, you can make it longer, but this is just to show you how you're going to plan it out and how you're going to schedule it, um, you know, according to when you want those different touches to be deployed. So anyway, guys, have a really amazing holiday. Use some of these awesome tools. And once you get in front of these people that know you and love you, uh, the referrals for 2021, I promise, are going to pour in more business you can handle. Uh, have a great day, everyone. We'll see you next time.